Hi, my name is Lindsay Bryant, and for my second career profile, I decided to do it on being a marriage and family therapist. Um, I was actually fortunate enough to have a career contact. His name is Kevin Gilbreth, and he is actually a professor at the BYU-Idaho campus, and he was a marriage and family therapist for quite a few years. Um, so to dive right in, the working environment is, you can have a public or pr a public practice or you can have a private practice when it comes to therapy. Um, there are also community health centers and organizations that do marriage and family therapy as well. Um, the hours are usually the typical work hours between 8 and 6, um, but sometimes they aren't every day of the week just because some therapists try to fit in the weekends because that works better for other family schedules to get in to see them. And so it really all depends on who you work for or where you work to find out what your hours are. Um, usually starting out, you might want to work under someone who has already had, who already has a practice or in a health center so that you have the help that you might need that is necessary at some times. Um, so that means sometimes flexibility might be harder for you during your first few, first few years as a marriage and family therapist, but it will get easier. Um, when you have a private practice, you are more lenient with your schedule, which is nice. Um, since the job is centered around the family, it is a very family-oriented um, profession to go into, which is very convenient, especially in a world like today where family is being attacked. Um, so when, they're, when we're talking about stressors, there's actually quite a few stressors, but they're easily dealt with. Um, so when I was talking to Brother Galbraith about it, he said that it's a very intense job. Um, you usually deal with people who have problems, and their problems might be minor or large, but you deal with problems like on a daily basis. Um, uh, you might feel down when other people you are trying to help just aren't getting it. You feel a lot of emotions, but you need to keep a professional outlook on it, and you deal with a lot of things that normal people don't deal with on a daily basis. Um, also, some of the typical benefits for this job, if you are working under someone, you usually get benefits through them. Um, it's not typical for you to get full benefits from this position, but you do definitely have benefits from it. Some are medical, you definitely get retirement plans, which is nice. Um, it is usually dependent on who you work for and where you work. Um, but most places do give you paid holidays and paid vacation time, which is really nice. Some of the job tasks, um, this p profession requires you to have communication skills. That is a definite bonus. Um, you deal with families who are going through things that require them to seek help. You deal with people who have sub substance abuse problems, there are infidelity problems, those who lack communication skills, domestic violence problems, parenting problems, and you need to be ready to listen and to help find solutions on how people can change these problems. And you need to be able to set goals for them and you need to be able to help set plans for them to reach these goals. And you have to be very in tune with how the how your clients are acting and how they work, I guess, for the lack of better words. Um, so for educational requirements for this job, um, you need a master's degree. You also, um, also, licensing varies in different states, so that's all dependent on where you live or where you want to work. Um, also, you need to take continuing education, education classes on a, daily, or a yearly basis. Um, the starting salary for this job usually is around 30000 a year, and when you have a more experienced salary rate, that usually is around 75000 a year. Um, just some miscellaneous career information is that it's a very rewar rewarding career when you can help someone and help a family. And it's cool because when you help a couple, when they come in to see you, you're not just helping them, but you're also helping their future generations, which is awesome. And you also learn what not to do in your own relationships, which is also a bonus. And that is my career profile.